If you're planning to make rice, but can't find your measuring cups, there's no need to worry. I'll show you a method to make rice that just uses one hand. Hi, I'm Julie. In this episode of Hungry for Science, we're gonna take a look at a handy way of making rice. Rice seems pretty straightforward, but it can confound even the most experienced cooks. Part of the confusion usually comes from how much water to add to a certain amount of rice. A lot of people use a, a specific ratio, like two cups of water for one cup of rice, but I've also heard one and a half cups to one. I'll let you in on a secret. I have never actually used a measuring cup to make rice, and I've been making rice my whole life. In East Asia, where my family's from, many people use a method that I'm gonna call the knuckle method, and it just uses your hand to figure out how much water to add. I'll show you how, it's super easy. You just take whatever rice you want, add it to your pot, however much you wanna make, and then rinse it out. And then I'm gonna add enough water just so that the water above the rice is the depth of my finger to my first knuckle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add water, put the tip of my finger on the rice, and add it until it just reaches that part of my knuckle. So here I go. Some goes in between the rice grains. And then I know I've had enough water when it reaches the depth of my knuckle. Now I would put the cover on, bring it to a boil and let it simmer until it's done. So you might be wondering how on earth does this work? And this actually, this is the exact amount of water you need for any amount of rice. You can always use your knuckle. The, the reason is you have to think about what happens to the water when you make rice. There's actually two paths that water can take. Some of it gets absorbed into the rice and some of it gets evaporated as the, the pot simmers away. Some of it comes off the surface. I have a little jar of rice here. You can see that my water goes, when I add it, my water goes in between the rice grains and then there's that little layer on top that normally I would measure with my knuckle. The amount that gets absorbed is about the amount that fills in the spaces in between the rice grains. And the amount that evaporates actually is roughly this amount that sits on top. And so if I double this, say I'm a ratio person and I wanted to make twice the amount of rice. If I added twice the amount of water, all of a sudden I have a giant layer on top, but only half of that's gonna evaporate away. The rest is gonna get cooked into my rice and it's gonna be too mushy. And so because the amount that you need for absorption scales with the amount of rice, but the amount that escapes by evaporation does not, a ratio method is gonna cause you trouble when you get into larger and larger quantities of rice. The amount that escapes due to evaporation really depends on the size of your pot and the tightness of the lid. And for a pot about this size, the depth of water that evaporates is about the size of my knuckle. Maybe I've convinced you that that's the right amount of water, but you might be wondering to yourself, how can everyone's knuckles work? My knuckle might be a different size than yours. Well, it's true that our hands are probably different sizes, but it turns out that this first segment of adult-sized fingers are remarkably similar. Don't take my word for it. You should check it out for yourself by measuring yourself up with other people. You just might be surprised at what you find. 